Hello and welcome to OK at Home DIY. If you're new here, my name is Zena. I'd love you to click the subscription button, click that bell so you will be notified on your videos that I upload. Today's video, I'm sharing with you three thrift transformations that I hope to inspire you to DIY. Redoing this side table, a friend gave this to me. So every paint job is good when you do some good prepping. So of course I am going to clean it and then after I clean it, I am going to sand it. I use my orbital sander, but I also hand sanded the legs and the spindles or the round parts just to get the shine off to take the paint better. Next, I'm going to flip the whole table upside down and spray paint it. This helps me to get in all those little nooks and crannies, so I'm getting it from two directions. And I walk all the way around my piece, trying to spray it at every angle. Then I flip it upright and I do the same thing, spraying with Rust-Oleum flat black spray paint. And then I seal it with the matte enamel from Rust-Oleum as well. This was Super quick on video, but it took a little bit of time, but I love how this turned out. This is perfect, I think, for farmhouse, modern farmhouse. It's black, it can fit into a lot of home styles. Today's video is What Would You Make? Open Invite Challenge. The playlist will be in the description box below. Our guest host is Sandy Lumbermill DIY. She actually owns a lumber mill and she does a lot of different wood builds and she really teaches you how to do it. But her latest creation is Dragon's Breath and she shows you how to use this wood burning gel and a heat gun to get that fabulous wood burning look. Go check out her channel in the description box below you will be able to get more details on Dragon's Breath. As well as the other host is Marsha from Marsha's Mush and Stuff. She is a fabulous DIYer, Dollar Tree hauler and reviewer. And if you are looking for anything Dollar Tree, I'm pretty sure she's seen it or knows of it. Go check out her channel in the description box below and remember the playlist. The moment I saw these bed posts at this outdoor flea market I went to a couple months back, I knew I wanted to make some candlesticks with them. So I went ahead and sanded them down just to take the varnish off and ex especially just um, the round part I hand sanded. Next, I just made a line on both of them that was even so I knew where to cut to have even candlesticks using my miter saw. And I spray paint outside with these on top of some blocks so nothing sticks to the plastic. And safety first always when cutting and spray painting, make sure you're wearing a mask and some safety goggles to make sure you are safe. After I spray paint that with the flat black spray paint, I take it in and paint it with Waverly Ivory chalk paint. Now I'm not going to do a whole lot here but I'm just going around at the top where it's kind of rounded and then up and down at the bottom where it's kind of square. I was just trying to follow the shape of the piece. Next I hand sand this for the video but I ended up taking out these pieces back out to the garage and, hand, and using my orbital sander to really distress the edges to bring out that black from underneath and just to make it look more farmhouse or comfy, cozy. This really can fit into different styles of styling and also you can paint these any color you like. I just really am digging this ivory color. This is the last DIY. Give me a tree emoji or a tree sentence in the description box below if you're with me this far. I found this with a box of wood items at that same flea market. Sanded all that paint off so I had a nice fresh piece of wood here. This triangle, I brought it in and sanded it with my faux paint stain. Um, I will link that in the description box below, not link, but I'll put it in the description box below um, what paints I use for that faux stain. And then I'm just taking ivory again from Waverly Chalk Paint and I'm making a snowy mountain top because I would love for this to become a mountain type of sign. 
So once I get that snowy peak done, I cut out Faith Moves Mountains with my Cricut and I used a piece of contact paper for my template here. I go ahead and rub it down real good, pull it off, and then I also rub the edges as well really, really good so that when I come through with this Mod Podge, it just helps to seal all the edges and gives me a clean line when I come back through with the Waverly Ivory Chalk Paint. So I get a couple coats on each one of those letters or this template here. And when I am done with that, I immediately just pull that right on off. So to finish this, once it is dry, I go ahead and coat it with matte Mod Podge. And here it is. I am so glad you hung out with me today. Thank you so much for watching. Please let me know down in the description box below which one of these transformations inspired you the most. And if you like this video, please hit that thumbs up button that helps my channel to grow so much and helps me to get noticed here on YouTube. Please check out that playlist of dynamic wood DIYs. They are, like I said, it's dynamic. It's gonna be across all skill levels. And until the next time, everyone, you have a good one. Bye. Today's video is three flip. Today's video is three thrift flips. Say that three times in a row, that's kind of hard. Three thrift flips.